Hey, welcome back, guys. I'm in the print house, and uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on this heat press. Um, this heat press right here is the reason that I uh, recently jumped in on a Fusion IQ heat press. Um, it was time for me to upgrade, and it was just you know uh, the right thing, right time to do it. So here's why: because this, what you're looking at, is a is a 15 year old Stalls nine by fifteen. And I had this, I bought this like 05 or 06. There's the sticker on it. And this thing's been flawless. And I couldn't have paid more than 400 for this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't. But this was my first personal heat press. I used one at work or I used a friend's before that. Because um, I've been making sure it's at least 20 years. But this is my first personal for home. And I can't, this is such a basic model, guys. And uh, it's it's been flawless ever since. The things that the things about it is it's a really hard clamping system. You know, it's because you put pressure. You really got to get on. But I've never had anybody ever comp uh, complain about failed prints on their shirts and their transfers. Um, you know, the, the bad thing is it's not really th it doesn't have threadability or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this on hand and do for sub sublimation stuff like mouse pads and other things like that. Um, but it's 9 by 15 so it's not that large. So this was the reason that I, I had no problem deciding on the Fusion IQ because I've been recently in the market for uh, for a heat press to add to my my print the print house setup. So um, I just think it's time. You know, I, I need a larger machine. Um, and um, I'm just, I couldn't be happier with the Stalls product. I mean, I, like I said, I bought this 15 years ago for myself, for personal use at home, and... It's it's been flawless ever since, and I'll continue to use it alongside my Fusion. So, but yeah, Stalls Hotronics. The date oh five oh six. So, like May of two thousand six. So it's going on uh, fifteen years right now, guys. So yeah, that's the reason uh, you want to kind of stick with a, a company that's well known and hey, made in USA. I mean, I, I don't knock a lot of Chinese stuff because I buy stuff, but um, some things I don't cheap out on and heat press it was one thing i didn't want to cheap out on and um yeah well couldn't be happier stalls nine nine by fifteen and uh i got my fusion iq when i get the uh when i get that started set up i'll i'll do a video on that um and my thoughts review obviously you guys have seen all the videos online the fusion iq is a great machine wish i could have had the air but i i am i am really excited to um about the 360 the max 360 the hat press that thing looks fascinating. I'm so excited to to check that out, and hopefully that could be in my uh, my scope of my uh, my the print house. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, do another video with the Fusion IQ. But yeah, guys, Stalls nine by fifteen here. I love it. This thing's been flawless ever since. This is why I had no problem deciding on the Fusion IQ. I wasn't gonna go with any other brand, that's for sure. So been happy with that. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification, and I'll do another video when I get my Fusion IQ set up. So thanks, guys. Bye.